All right, eight, let's go wide to start. Right here, just a stretch you're gonna feel. We're gonna work on some breathing here. So, when we breathe in, we're gonna breathe in through our nose. You're gonna put your hand on your belly and your chest. The hand on your belly is the one that's moving. Your hand on your chest should not move. So when we breathe in, make yourself fat. And then exhale, you can go through the mouth, Feel the hand come in, suck the belly in. That's proper breathing. So in through the nose, fill up the belly. Exhale. Just the bottom hand should be moving. The top hand, not at all. It shouldn't be up here. Belly breathing. Stay with your breath. Easy cues or make yourself fat. Then exhale and suck it in. This is proper breathing mechanics. This is how you can slow your heart rate down wherever you are at any time. You're in control, whether it's on the mound, messing around during lifting, trying to go to bed. This is how we're breathing. No, we want to hear, yep. That's right. Stay with your breath. get five more. Don't rush through it. Four seconds in. Six seconds out. Should we get our five, our five finished ones? So now, as we're doing the pails and rails, now, every day, when we're breathing, when I'm talking about breathing, that's how we're breathing. Don't fall back on the breathing through your chest, short breaths, always through that belly. That's how we wanna breathe. You're, you stay in control of your breath, in control of your heart rate, everything else goes from there. The less energy you exert the better you can throw over time. Next thing we're gonna do here, fellas, we're gonna come back up. Our big toe is gonna be in the ground. Then you're gonna bring the other four up and down. Big toe stays in the whole time, 10. Fight it, try and spread your toes. Correct. Once you get that, then every toe is up, just the big toe comes down. 10. Once you get the big toe down, drive it into the ground for a couple seconds. And then back up. Ground up, that's why we do all this barefoot out here. That's why we do stuff with our toes, our ankles. If we're not sound from the ground up, the foundation, everything else breaks. Knees, hips, back. That's why we do all this stuff. We take care of our feet and ankles. Once we get that, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep our heels flat, our toes straight ahead, feet are gonna be directly under our hips. You're gonna try and drive your knees as far as you can forward 
heels stay flat. Do not let your heels come up. Working on ankle dorsiflexion, trying to bring your toes to your face as you go down. 10 reps here. Get to that end range and bring those toes up. Get as much range as you can that your ankle allows. Fight for the range. <laughs> Once we get that, now feet still under our hips. Imagine like you are have a towel under your feet, you're gonna grip the towel with all your toes, squeeze them in as hard as you can. 20, drive, 40, 60, 80, hard as you can, 10, 9, 8, your foot might cramp, 7, drive in, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now what you're gonna do, straighten them out, now go toes to face. Try and bring your toes up to your face. 10, nine, drive it. Eight, seven, six, five, spread them and up. Four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna come up on our toes. Drive through. If you're 5'10", make yourself 6 feet. If you're 6'2", make yourself 6'4". If you're 6'7", not 6'8", make yourself 6'9". Six, nine. Six, nine, now we're going to come down. Nice, slow, and controlled. Once we get down, we can bring our knees down. We can go feet underneath us and we're gonna get a quad stretch. Just one here. Make sure you're breathing still, fellas. We just talked about it. Good. Now, what we're gonna do, we can go toes back underneath us, sit back on the heels, we can get a prayer stretch. If you want to bring the toes, if you want to make try and make the top of the foot flat, you can do that as well to get more range. So keys here, sit back on the heels, drive your fingertips forward through the grass. Focus on your breath, belly breathing. You're in control of the breath. We're gonna hit our pails and rails out of this position. Remember, it's the palms driving through the ground then trying to lift up. Ready, 20, 40, 60, 80, hard as we can. Five, four, three, two, one. Try and lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Deeper stretch. Stay with your breath. Good, we're gonna come all up to all fours. What we're gonna do now, is we're just gonna axially rotate. I'll show you at the hip. We're not gonna do a full car. So we're gonna start as wide as we can. Then from here, the only movement we're going is heel to the sky, rotate back in. 
All right, everyone get here. Wide. Here we go, heel to the sky. Fight for it, keep it there, hold it. Rotate back in with tension, tension, tension. Heel to the sky. Rotate back down with tension. Heel to the sky. Rotate back down, tension, tension. Two more, up. Heel to the sky, controlled. Tension back down. And one more. Heel to the sky. And tension. Bring it on down. Don't forget to breathe. You should never be out of breath during this. You should be able to breathe during this. We're never holding our breath. Now we're gonna go to the other side. So let's start wide. Heel to the sky. Keep the hips as square as you can. Bring it back down. Heel up. Tension. And then pull it back down with tension. Heel to the sky. Spiral back down with tension. Two more. Spiral it back down. Get as much range as we can. Fight for it. And back down. Good job, fellas. We're gonna get a little wrist stretch here. So we're gonna go fingertips away from us. On the side and sit back. Get a good stretch. The farther you sit back, the better stretch. So our pails, fingertips through the ground, rails trying to lift our fingertips. Our body stays in the same place the whole time. All that's moving is the fingertips. Ready, 20, drive in, 40, 60, 80, hard as we can for four, three, two, one. Try and lift them up, try and lift them up, five, four, three, two, one, good job, shake it out. From here, we're gonna hit two shoulder cars each side. So we're gonna start with our dominant arm, whatever arm is your dominant arm, your throwing arm. Two, so slow, very slow, like we're standing, same thing like we're standing. Keep it supinated as long as you can. Eventually, you're going to get neutral, then flip it behind you. Try and keep your shoulders square. If there's no tension on your shoulder, you're wrong. It should never get loose. It should be like you're holding a 10-pound plate the whole time. You're up against resistance, like someone's resisting you. Whatever analogy you need to go nice and slow. When we do them in our warm-ups, this is how slow they should be, guys. Sometimes we're just going through the motions. I'd rather do one good one than three shitty ones. We're doing two here. Control, tension, the whole time. Tension, tension. Fight for it. Then we're just gonna do one on our non-dominant. You gotta be able to do both arms. So one on our non-dominant arm. After you get your two on your dominant. Slow, slow. If you think you're going slow enough, Go a little bit slower. Nice, long, you might feel a little crunch, snap, crackle, pop. Work through it, it should not be painful. 
Nice, slow, control, tension the whole time. Keep your tension. Fight for your range. Fight for it, fight for it, fight for it. Good. Once we get that, we're going to get in a pigeon stretch. Let's get our tight side first. We should know at this point. If we don't, then pick one. That would be my right vagina. Back leg long and straight, and we're going to stretch. <laughs> Stay in the good stretch. We're gonna hit one pail and rail, then we're gonna stretch on the side and then we'll switch. Ready, 20, driving through the ground, 40, 60, 80, hard as we can for six, five, four, drive, three, two, one, try and lift, try and lift, full effort, four, three, two, one, use your breath to go deeper. out of it and switch sides. We're gonna hit the exact same thing on this side. Here we go, ready, pale and rail, 20. 40, drive, 60, 80, hard as we can. Five, four, three, two, one, pull it up for five, four, three, two, one. Deeper stretch, use your breath. out of it get into our 90 90 what we're gonna do we're gonna get two each way flowing through all the way up stretch and then bring it back two on each get those hips moving legs moving through control yourself down don't give yourself a pass fight for it Fight for it, big chest, Angel Hernandez. Grande Petro. Once we get two on each, we'll stand up. Shake it out while you're waiting. Get a little shake out. Fellas, let's get into our wide position. We're gonna get two pails and rails here. First one, get about 90 to 95 
20% of your max length distance between the feet. Ready, 20, 40, 60, 80, stay with it. Now as hard as we can, ease into it for five, four, drive, three, effort, two, one, widen it, widen it, widen it. Turn the outsides of your hips on. Three, two, one. Yes, a little wider now. A little bit wider. Ready, 20, 40, 60, 80, hard as we can. Five, four, three, two, one, wide, four, three, should be shaking, two, one, come on down to our hands. So we're just gonna get one rotation each way. We're gonna stay in it for about 10 seconds. Let's go to our left today. Nice and long. If your back knee's on the ground, you're wrong, unless you're in a split. Six. Three. Two, one, ease out of it. Rotate to the other side. Nice and long. Sink in there. Six. Three, two, one, ease out. Namaste, motherfuckers. Eat one more Good job, fellas.